Well, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. We're doing something special today. I have here my wallet and inside we have here this little card. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a grim card, survival card. Basically, it comes with hooks, a fishing file or a, a file and a fishing lure and a knife and then some other little tools. You have a tick remover and an awl and a spring snare triggers. So it's just an all around cool little uh, card that literally can fit inside your wallet. So if you ever were in a survival situation, you don't have any hooks or you lost your knife or something like that, you got a knife and hooks right here, which is basically all I need, what I'm gonna be using today. That's what we're gonna be using to catch our fish today. We're just gonna take one of these hooks out, tie it on, and then I brought some night crawlers that we're gonna hopefully use to catch some of these little brown trout in this creek and catch and cook them up later on. All right guys, so I've never used this card before either, so you're learning right along here with me. I'm assuming you just peel off the backside just like this. And uh, I'm not even sure, but maybe this is used for something. It feels kind of weird, I don't know. Probably not, but maybe it is. We have a treble hook right here. Then we have uh, four single hooks. I think I'm gonna go for the smaller one. Just like that. All right, there we go. Hook is on, baby. Let's get fishing. All right, so we have our little hook here. We got this little piece of worm. We're just gonna pinch him in half and thread him on the hook, just like that. Beautiful, looks really, really natural. He's wiggling around down there. Also, I'm not using any weight, just the hook and worm, as natural as can be, unless we get to a deeper hole where we're gonna need some weight. Oh, perfect cast, perfect, perfect cast. Bite, bite, guys, first, oh, no, 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 shoot. Well, I didn't get a great hook set on him. I didn't take long at all. Might have to set the hook a little harder this time. Oh, no way. Oh, oh, he got it. He got it. No, no, I missed one. It was almost as if they were more interested in it when I was moving it like that, like this. Oh, got him. Oh, missed one, missed one, missed one. Oh, got him, got him, fish on. No, no. Ah, oh, that was not a very good hook set. Come on. I think all the fish down there kind of know what's going on now. They're a little bit more scared. All right, I'm just gonna toss the worm right over this bank. I can't even see what's down there, but I'm sure there's fish. Oh, there's a fish, there's a bite. There's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Got him, got him, got him. Guys, first fish, yes! Oh, he just threw my worm. I don't wanna get too close because I don't wanna scare the other ones. First fish of the challenge. Not really a challenge, but first fish with the grim, grim card hook. Let's see, oh, he swallowed it, guys. I usually don't keep the first fish of the day. You guys know that if you watch my videos, but sometimes, you can't always help it, especially when you're using worms. Gorgeous, look at those red dots on him. Perfect specimen right here, perfect specimen. We're gonna cook him up a little later. We might keep another one just because this isn't very big, but uh, that's a good way to start. Oh, there's tons of fish in the current right there. All right, if I could just cast far enough. Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, there's like 10 fish going over to it. Oh, he picked it up, he picked it up. Got him, got him. Number two, guys, number two. Look at that. Bring him over here. Oh, sweet. Didn't lose, oh, and there he goes. Quick catch and release. You know, I don't think this hook is as sharp as like, you know, Eagle Claw hooks or more of the expensive brand. But I mean, if you're in a survival situation, you'd probably be pretty darn grateful to have these hooks. Got him. That was a good hook set. That was a good hook set. There we go, guys. The question is, do we keep this one? Uh, I think we're gonna let this one go, but look at that. That was a solid hook set. On the corner of the mouth, that was perfect right there. Boom. We're gonna toss him back. That is a gorgeous little fish. Got him, got him. 
Got him. That's a nicer one. That's the biggest one of the day. Ho oh, ho, baby. Still not a giant. But for this creek, this is a solid little fish. Lift him up here, right over the water, just in case he flops off. Check it out. Are you kidding me? That is gorgeous. Big old gold spots on her, bright yellow belly. And look at those teeth. A lot of people think brown trout don't have, or trout don't have teeth. No, 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 those are sharp. I mean, that's equivalent to a young pike. Those are dang sharp. That'll cut you up right there. Twist it out, boom, toss them back. Got him, another one, next cast, next cast. Ooh, that's a good keeper. Is that, that's a good keeping size right there. So now we have two trout, both about the same size, and they're gonna make for some good lunch. Look at that, another good hook set. I don't know what I was doing wrong. I guess you just have to set the hook a little harder with these. All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna cook right here by the stream, right on the bank. I think I'm gonna try to build a fire today. We're gonna give it a try. I just kinda wanna build a fire. It is kinda chilly, and I haven't cooked over, fr over a fire in a while. Now the real question is, can we find stuff that can burn, that isn't soaking wet? This is Utah, so it's pretty dry, so it shouldn't be too hard, but like I said, the snow is starting to melt, so this might be, this might be kinda hard. We could use a cow pie, I mean, people do that, right? But this grass actually seems dry enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this grass will be dry. And look at that, we have these little wood chips right here. Those are plenty dry, this should work. I think we can make it happen. We're gonna throw some of this dry grass down there. And look at this, I got a bunch of these uh, twigs for kindling. Kinda get the fire going. There we go, it took a lighter and a match, but we got her done. Okay, I have this little miniature ax that we're gonna kinda chop some smaller pieces off the bigger, bigger piece. I'm just gonna kinda shave off some wood chips. There we go. These little wood chips right here, they're super, super light which means they're super dry and will probably burn really, really well. All right guys, so while the fire burns down, we're gonna gut that second trout that we got right here. We're gonna use the knife that came with this uh, survival card. There's the knife right there. We're gonna pop it out here. Just like that. And uh, right there in the middle, we have that little awl. Whatever an awl is, you guys can let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna pretend to know. Feels pretty sharp, not not really, really sharp, but definitely sharp enough to gut a fish. So we're gonna take our knife here, go up through there. Yeah, see? Not crazy sharp, but it's doing the job. Ooh, we're gonna cut along that bloodline. Just like that. Get all that blood out. All right, so we have both our trout right here all gutted out. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna skin them because I don't really want the skin on, but since these are smaller trout, the way you can skin them, you can just bend their head back like this. Usually, I'm not very good at it, but kind of peel the trout like a banana. And the skin should come off. Oh man, hopefully this time is a little bit better. Sometimes you uh, have a little meat that comes off with the skin, but if you can get good at it, which I'm not very good, you can uh, not waste any of the meat. You can go in with your thumb and separate it like that. Just like that. We wasted a little bit of meat, not very much. It's still a lot better than filleting it, but uh, then we have the little trout right here and for these fins, these little uh, fins right here can just come off. Those aren't too big a deal. You can just pull them out super, super easy. And there we go. That's how you skin a little trout. Guys, 
this fire just isn't working out. I'm so frustrated. I've spent like the past 30 minutes trying to keep this fire going. It'll burn really good for a second and then it just goes out. I'm no fire making expert, but uh, this was a complete and total fail. So I guess we're gonna have to give up the fire. It's not really working out. It just wants to smoke in my face. That's all it wants to do. But it's a good thing we have a backup. Spent almost 40 minutes fiddling with that stupid fire. Yeah, this will get the job done quicker. It's not as fun, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Turn it up on high heat. Step one, we're gonna add a little bit of water. About like, well, maybe a little less actually. Pour a little bit of that out. Got some hash browns today, fellas. There's one trout and the other trout. A little bit of seasoning on there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little butter too. We're not done yet, folks. We got some chili right here. And set that right on the burner there. Hopefully it doesn't tip over. And boil up some chili. All right, let's go ahead and try this fish out. Try a little hash brown. You know, I'm gonna be honest, guys. This is not the best fish I've ever had. I don't know if it's how I cooked it, probably just how I cooked it. Maybe I overcooked it or something. I don't know. The hash browns though, these are good. Ooh yeah, look at that. I love when the chili starts gurgling like that. Oh man, that's still cold. What the heck? Something about chili on a cold day like this. I mean, it's actually kind of starting to snow, guys. I mean, look at this. Mmm. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. As you can see, the snow is coming. But hey, we completed the challenge. We caught a fish using the Grim Card survival card right here. I mean, it's good to at least have in your wallet. You know, you never know. I've never been in a real survival situation but I have been in a situation where I ran out of hooks. So, good to have in your wallet. But anyway, I'm gonna head out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Lots more videos to come. Spring is on its way. I'll see you in the next one.